a lot of fedoras start picking up game and they make dumb decisions because of it. They realize, alright, it can't be a beta anymore, so I just gotta raise my shoulders up a little and act like a jerk and I'll be raining in pussy. Maybe I'll peacock. I'll get it that way. I'd like to introduce the idea of being beta the way we normally see it as a sin, as an act of sin. That doesn't mean that you're a bad person for being beta. No, what it means is that to an extreme, bootlicking is always done for vice. It's sacrificing dignity and defacing yourself as a person, defacing all that is good of you for something that's meek. Not even meek, just not really worth all that. We do it all the time now. And by we are not projecting stuff I do because I don't do this as much, but stuff collectively that we do. We bootlick for female attention, we bootlick for mass attention, we bootlick for money, we bootlick to live vicariously through other people. If it wasn't for capitalism, we may be bootlicking for food. Although, you never know. Someone watching this may do that on low. And that's why you should get out of beta habits. Because a lot of them do sacrifice your dignity in exchange for something that isn't really worth it. And you usually don't get it. Sin usually ends in deceit. You promise something, and you don't actually get it. And when I look at these fedoras, they implement all these alpha stuff, yet they fail to actually understand it because they're dumbasses. While being a bootlicker is unattractive, if your ass is already hard to want, curbing females from their beta requests, that's not going to help you. If you stop doing her nails, pedicuring her, uh, bowing before her, fanning her, uh, feeding her grapes, resting her on her throne, and stuff like that. Well, good for you. Sadly, the typical fedora, when he is beta, he just showers her with compliments or confesses to wanting to do certain stuff with her. Maybe he asks her to go out with him and it doesn't work out. And that's what he thinks his epic beta fail is. It's just worthless nonsense. And if your ass is hard to want, it's hard to want. You can correct for whatever makes you hard to want. If you're fat, stop being fat. If you're ugly, well, Genetics is genetics, but you can find ways around that. I don't have the best genetics. I have the receding hairline, I have three creases over here. 
They got short legs, long short arms, long ass torso. I ain't worried about nothing. Bad genetics, I'm still one sexy ass mofo. So you can do it too. And if you're out of shape, you're not muscular, well, that's something I need to do too. And I will get to that. There's so much stuff you can do to correct for that kind of stuff. I'm not just talking about appearance wise, I'm talking about habits, stuff you're not fulfilling. Being a complete man, a stronger version of yourself, isn't that it? Icing of the cake. Just being beta, I mean, just not being beta, that's not a full upgrade. Okay, so you're not bootlegging anymore, who cares? Your ass is still hard to want, you're just not behaving in a way that enhances that unattractiveness. That's it. And the big picture, the last point I want to get through is that this kind of left my head for a while, but give it time, I will remember it. Like the best part about not being beta and not bootlicking and not sacrificing your dignity is that you don't have to do everything to make yourself more attractive. Me? There's stuff I don't want to change about myself even if I know it'll get me a girlfriend. Like, I'm not going to change what music I may listen to to appeal to a female that probably couldn't stand to be around me because she knows that music she can't stand will be playing. I'm not going to change what music I listen to. I'm not going to change certain aspects of my style. I'm not going to change certain aspects of my hairstyle. I'm not going to, well, you already saw I lost my mane. I'm not going to change a lot of stuff. That's not going to happen. And if I know it means I'm going to die a virgin, I don't give a fuck. No regrets. Because I know that you got to have your principles. And that's one thing that's not just not beta. It's alpha. It's complementary. It means I have a dignity. And I have a bit of nobility to me. You're not going to see me decked out in Michael Kors, even if I know it'll get me a girl. You're not going to see me adopt certain mannerisms if I know the girls around here find that attractive. You're not going to see me make the light skin face I'm not going to do all that bullshit. If it means I never get laid, or a chick never looks at me again, so be it. So it shall come to pass. As Mr. Rocket said,